How's it going guys? CEO of Based here, wearing my open base shirt that you can buy right now at Base.win. But that's not why you clicked on this video. You clicked for the base tutorial of how to install Graphene OS on your Pixel phone so that you can get yourself a based phone. Since Graphene OS on a Pixel is probably the most secure and private mobile setup that you can have right now. And everyone these days has a mobile setup, even the Amish. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you need to get yourself a phone like this, if you don't have a phone already that you're going to uh, install Graphene OS to, you need to make sure that you get one that is OEM unlocked. Uh, which is different than carrier unlocked, okay? Even if it's carrier unlocked, it might not necessarily be OEM unlocked. I think uh, Verizon, for example, they encrypt their bootloader so you can't even unlock it to install Graphene OS and then relock it. Finding a compatible device is honestly the most difficult part of installing Graphene OS, at least if you use their web app to install it. But pretty soon, I'm gonna have a lot of these phones available for sale on base.win once I move and I have some warehouse space. But enough talking about my future business plans, let's get into the video. All right, let's get started with this provisioning process. So here we've got a new Pixel 5a. And we'll go ahead and go through the initial setup of uh, the regular stock Android so that we can then go ahead in and install Graphene OS to it. Obviously, if you're following this guide to set up Graphene OS on your own Pixel, then you're gonna wanna make sure you back up all the data first because we're gonna end up resetting the phone. Okay, we don't need to connect it to a mobile network. And we also don't need to connect it to Wi-Fi. We don't need to use any of these. Doesn't matter whether you have them or not. I just think turning them off makes setting up the phone a little bit quicker. Don't need a pen. And sure, we'll use the dark theme, doesn't matter. Okay, so first thing we're going to need to do is enable the developer mode. So I have to go down into About Phone and tap on the build number five times until we get the message that we're now a developer. Next, we're going to enable OEM unlocking by going into the settings, system, developer options, and slide on to allow OEM unlocking. And you're also gonna to have to restart your device in order to enable this, but that's fine because we're gonna to have to restart it to put it into fast boot mode anyway. So now we're gonna go ahead and connect the phone to our computer. And if you're using a Windows operating system, you're gonna to have to download an additional driver in order for your uh, computer to detect it. If you're using Linux, then you're probably good already. Uh, you just got to make sure you have MTPFS installed. But yeah, if you're using a JustWorks distro, then your phone should be able to connect to it automatically. And best way to get into Fastboot is to just reboot the phone uh, to restart it. And you want to make sure that you hold down the volume down button while it's rebooting. And that's going to bring you in this screen here where it says fast boot. Now, once you have your phone OEM unlocked in this fast boot mode and connected to your computer, you can actually install Graphene OS with their web USB program. Uh, and it's very, very easy. You just wanna make sure that you're using one of the officially supported operating systems and using one of the officially supported uh, browsers as well. I'm actually using Brave. So there's quite a few that are supported here, quite a few different Linux distributions and quite a few different browsers. So uh, really compatible with a bunch of different setups. So we'll go ahead and just do this. First, we're going to unlock the bootloader. And you get this page that comes up in the browser saying that graphenos.org wants to connect to, and then it's going to list your phone. Click on that and then click connect. And then over here on your phone, once you've done that, you're going to see this message pop up that says, do not unlock the bootloader. And it tells you here to press the volume keys to select a different menu. So you can just press 
volume down to get unlocked bootloader, or I think you could just do volume up. Yeah, the menu wrap. So either way, uh, just switch it to unlock bootloader, unlock the bootloader, and then hit the power button. And this is gonna wipe all your data. So make sure that you add everything backed up. And now you can see that my device state for the bootloader is unlocked. Now, once the bootloader is unlocked, you can automatically download the correct release file with this download release button on graphenos.org. And this will probably take a while, even with my gigabit internet. So I'll just speed up this part. Now that the zip file has downloaded, we can go ahead and flash the release to our phone again with the flash release button in the Graphene OS web app. Very easy. And it's automatically gonna restart the device. So now we're gonna go ahead and lock the bootloader. This is actually one of the things that makes Graphene OS on a Pixel one of the best Android setups because it's de-Googled, obviously. We're installing a de-Googled ROM. I guess it's still technically Google hardware, uh, but on a lot of other de-Googled ROMs, when you install them, you're gonna have to be running around with an unlocked bootloader, kind of like what I did when I installed Lineage OS to the OnePlus phone. I think it was a OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, so yeah, this gives you a de-Googled phone along with that better security. Uh, so now we just have to scroll up to the menu and press power to lock the bootloader. And now we can go ahead and start our phone. It's gonna tell us that our device is loading a different operating system, and that's fine. That'll go away in a moment. Then we get the regular Google boot screen. And then we get the Graphene OS splash screen. This phone is now freed. All right, let's set Graphene OS up. Don't need any pins, don't need any of this stuff. Boom! Look at that. We're in Graphene OS. Well, of course, that's not going to load because, uh, don't have any internet right now, but you go, we got a camera. Look at that good looking guy. And finishing up, we'll go into our settings. Settings, system, uh, wait a minute, I forgot where I had to go. About phone. Yeah, we gotta enable the developer option first. System, developer options, and then we're gonna disable OEM unlocking. And then untick use developer options. 
And now we're done.